Welcome to Baker Day Presents. We're here today at Temple University in the kitchens of Johnson and Hardwick Hall. It's a working kitchen, so you might hear some noises or might be some people in the background. Today, I have an amazing guest. I have the rapping professor, Dr. Aaron Smith. He's a professor here at Temple University, and he has brought with him his recipe for Southwestern egg rolls coming right up. Welcome, Dr. Aaron Smith. How are you doing? I'm very excited to have you here joining me today. All right. Uh, so what are we making today? We're making... Uh, today we're making egg rolls. Southwestern egg rolls, right? Well, today's going to be like North Philly egg rolls. <laughs> Not <laughs> we're gonna, Southwestern? We're going to do it a little bit different. Because and you, you, you gave me the recipe and I prepped everything. We got their chicken, we okay. got our cheeses, okay. our sour cream and stuff, right? So we're set, right? We're set without half of this because I'm a vegan. Oh, okay. Gang, gang, team vegan in That's the awesome. building. No, and it's vegan. We, we don't need this. No, we, we're not going to need that. No, we need Give me that. What else? And this is I suppose that's chicken, chicken right? Well, so you probably uh, don't want that. I suppose we put that to the side. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of that. Cheddar. We're going to do no, even better. I'm an animal, too. And this, um, mozzarella? It's, it's Monterey Jack cheese. Okay, well, let's uh, moderate it to the other okay, side of the okay. table. <laughs> and I think we're ready to go with I this. I feel like we're missing half the stuff here. How about... I usually don't do the salt. I usually do the spices and You're the You're an herbs. anti-salt person? Yeah. I salt I, everything. You know what I do? I do a little bit of pink Himalayan at times. Sometimes. This isn't pink or Himalayan. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Yeah. Isn't that crazy that they have salt in the Himalayas? That is crazy. Like, because it's mostly in seawater and stuff. So, like, it, it's just the way the earth has shifted and stuff. At some point, I didn't even know there. that that wasn't salt until I was, like, in my 20s. I thought that that was the only form of salt. There's and then so somebody told me about salts. different colors. Oh, I thought it was goodness. a joke. No, there's tons and tons of salt. And salt's actually good for you. Yes, especially pink Himalayan salt. That's a, a PSA. <laughs> and right? other salts that are not pink Himalayan, but not table salt. <laughs> true. <laughs> there's true. tons of just even sea salt. So what I have here, too, uh, instead of the sour cream, I have it's a Fabernet, Faber, Faber 8. I don't know how to say it. Fabernet's? Fabernet's. Oh. So it's, got, it's like a mayo, but it's made with aquafaba. They should call it fancies. Fancy. So it sounds very fancy. It is very fancy. So aquafaba is actually uh, the liquid from chickpeas. Like you get a can of chickpeas and they have the okay. liquid, and you can actually whip that up. The proteins and stuff from the and the. Uh, now, do it, they grind up the peas no, or no only peas, the water? Just from, the water. Just wow. The water, which is crazy, right? That you is. can actually whip it up. You can make a meringue out of it, and you can cook it. Mm. It'll actually help set it to use that to make like a custard. Wow. So, like, if you're making stuffing mm -hmm. and you want something little that'll soak the bread up and yeah. that'll, that'll actually set a little bit, the protein's in it, it works for that. It'll work for all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty interesting. All this time I was throwing that water out. I, you and me both. Yeah, and now yeah. all of a sudden it's like fancy restaurants mm -hmm. have it. And I brought us some tofu. Okay. Some uh, to use instead of the chicken. So that's kind of the best I can do with this. So you think it'll be good? I think it'll be great. All right. I can't wait. So where, where do we start with this? I would say heating up some of these ingredients, especially the tofu, just make sure it's you know, evenly browned. On the plus side, there's no chance of you getting sick from eating raw food here. That is a good thing. Everything here is, is edible in its form as it is, which is one of the bonus things about being vegan, right? That's what why we decided to be vegan. Just wanted to stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> I, I enjoy I like living. living. Living is yeah, good. I enjoy living. I said, let's, let's do this as long as we can, you know? I saw, uh, and I, I don't, this is nothing against your vegan thing, but I saw a, a post the other day and it said, uh, living healthy is the slowest way to die. Wow. <laughs> That's a different way to look at it, right? Right. So, but I, you want to be here as long as you can, right? I do, I do. Kids, Not just a temple, whatever, you know, on the, on the planet. The temple's well. great. Yeah, temple's I, I want to stay a temple forever as well. Forever? Yeah. Exactly. Ever is a long time, man. I mean, I actually had my wedding reception in Mitten Hall. Really? Yeah, How so, long ago was that? Oh, too long ago. Too long no? to count. So I didn't make. And it if I say the wrong amount of years, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble on the show. It, so, just, it was just, just so heavenly that I. I, just, I made that mistake too, but not that long ago. <laughs> Let me just. Uh, is it more than 16 or less than 16? Less than 16. Less so than 16. I might have made your cake. Really? I might have. You used to work there? I've been here for 16 years. It was years. 200 people there, if that well, rings I mean, a bell. Sounds, I mean, you only had a couple weddings a year. Oh, you do that all the time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm but saying, so I didn't actually look. I didn't, I didn't look for your name then because I didn't know anything about you. But I, I, if you got the cake from here and not from somewhere else, I might have actually done it. Maybe. Because Small I, world, right? Small. So small treat world. people nice. You never know who's feeding you, right? Right. That's the <laughs> right. lesson for the day. 
All right, so let's start heating some of this up. All right. You want a little bit of oil? I don't know why I did this, but it just made me feel like I was more like of a, a chef. chef and yeah. you're getting I don't even know if chefs do this. Dude. They don't. I think but boxers. Well, see, I have short sleeve shirt, so if I had a long shirt, maybe that's I would. The I would Bruce Lee effect, up. right? The <laughs> sound effect there. How much I put in here? I would say like I don't half know how much you want to make. Hey, you hear that? That's called cooking. Yeah. That's what yeah. when you cook. I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't plan. Oh, I, I, I guess I'll. This is what you used to stir. All with. right. Yeah. So what? What kind of season? Do you want peppers in there? What do you want? I would probably put. Uh, I feel like we're making this up now. This a is little like a, bit of water and oil. They say they don't mix. Why are you putting water in it? Because it's like it's getting too hot too fast. I didn't want to burn it. So you don't it. want it to brown? Yeah, I want to eventually just, just stiffen a little bit more than so. I don't want to crisp it. it oh, okay, like I would think you'd want a little crispy. But no, no crispy? On the outside, I'll use, say that for Part the of shell. the health thing, you don't want to add extra oil. I think that's what it is. That might too. be what it is. Do you want green um, peppers in there? I would do the vegetables last because I, I know that there's less nutrients if I cook them too much. But if so you're using this, it all, wouldn't, would it make a difference? Well, like I, I'm just saying, if you... Yeah, I usually season it and then like brown the tofu and then sort of like garnish with the vegetables. So the vegetables... This is are, like your go-to dish, it sounds like. You've done this a million a times. A couple times. Well, I've actually watched my wife do it more well, than I've done it. She's going to be laughing hysterically watching you do it now then. Well, no, I'm doing a good impression <laughs> of her. So it looks like I know <laughs> what I'm doing. That's what she does? <laughs> this is perfect. Yeah, I never like the vegetables overcooked. No, uh, I like, I like to have my vegetables to have a, a little bit of crunch, so right? I'm so yeah, but I, I would do some some spices at this point. So we have some. Uh, the cayenne? No. <laughs> Paprika? No. Um, it is, uh, you know, smoked jalapeno. What is that oh. called? I'm, I'm lost for words all of a sudden. I was gonna say aquafaba. <laughs> it <yeah>. is <laughs> not aquafaba. It is chipotle. 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 Right. Oh my god. Which is smoked dried jalapenos made into a powder. And one of my favorite so restaurants. It's, it's got like a it's got like a nice smokiness to it too. My apologies, chipotle. <laughs> um, so they have um, a they have a vegan option for the burritos. You're really into this vegan thing. At Chipotle, they have something called. You're um, dead serious about it. Is that good? How much do you want? That's great. Look at that's that. That's enough. Did we get a shot of that? Can yeah. you see that? I just hear that on TV all the time. Let me Can get, get a shot of that? Of that? <laughs> and now it's you. You get to say it. How excited oh, is it? So yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't. You put your handle so far away, you can't even hold your pan. I'm not sure yeah, why no, you're doing that. Oh, that day. <laughs> it's a signature style, that's what they call okay, it. Okay, yeah. No, everybody has their way of doing things. It's a handle-in-hand right. signature style. Okay, so we flavored that. A little regular pepper? That looks pepper. good. A little regular, regular pepper. pepper. Yeah. Good? Yeah, that looks great. This is going to give it some kick. It's like that right salt here. chef, the way you brought it back I was, like that. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. You seem to want to be fancy. Hey, hey. So I was like, let me add some fanciness. This is beautiful. And what's that there? That's, this is jalapeno. I say we do the jalapeno. Just a little, not, not all the jalapeno, though. I don't want to choke on camera. Is that it? A little bit more, a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, that didn't seem I don't want to seem soft at the same time. I want to, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> a little bit more? Okay, okay, okay. Are you sure? You want some more? <laughs> all right. I like it spicy. Oh, wow, I smell it. It smells great. Get a um, shot of that smell. Get a shot you of it. You can't that. get a shot of smell. <laughs> get, like, get a shot. Oh, gosh. Remember scratch and sniff stickers? I do. You remember Garbage Pail Kids? We're I do. Go back. Let's go back I do. all the way. Scratch and sniff. The, my favorite scratch, everybody's favorite scratch and sniff was the, uh, the skunk. I think you're right. Right? Everybody always wanted the, the skunk, skunk sticker. Bubble gum for the sweetness and the skunk for the, right, the curiosity. Uh, yeah. And Garbage Pail, I think it was with Adam Bomb, I think it was. That was I one of them, right? Popular. Was okay, that Aaron that's Garbage Pail Kid? I think there was, but I don't remember. I, don't. <laughs> I don't remember the name. Is that enough? I think it was Aaron More? Aquafob. Oh, no, I don't right. think it was. <laughs> How much do you want in there? Every time, I'm, I'm going to tell you a tip, though, right now. because Please do. Because yeah. I feel like I need a tip right now. You do need a tip right now. <laughs> We're cooking on an uh, induction burner. And what's that? So the way induction burners work is instead of creating a heat that heats up the entire pan, it actually has, it has a connection on, on this thing, and there's a connection in the pan itself. So when the pan is touching, then it only heats the actual pan. It doesn't create any oh. excess heat. Like I can take this off right now, and I can actually touch this. It doesn't get hot. OK. The only heat that's on here is residual from the pan. The only reason I'm telling you that is because you keep lifting yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm used to the fire. And you're taking the heat away from it. That's why. So it's not sizzling. Did you notice that it wasn't really I, I did not <laughs> notice that. And that touching the pan was some real David Blaine stuff. That was impressive. But it's not. I, it's was, just, I was nervous. Do you want to do it? No. You sure? No, no. That, that I am positive about. Totally That's the most positive I've been this whole time. <laughs> so you asked me if I wanted to touch the top. Of the, but when you said induction, I was tempted to pretend I knew what that meant. 
I thought but you did. The educator in me said no. no. I better, you should I better ask, learn something. There's no such Look thing you, as you a dumb question. Every day, right? It every matter, day. Even if you have a PhD in... Especially Temple. Right. African American Studies. There you go. I, I hadn't asked it yet, so I wasn't sure where we were going. No, that's all right. And so now you hear that sizzling and cooking up good, It right? sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot better when, and it's, it's, smells when great. it's actually connected to it. It smells really nice. Do you want to get a shot of that smell? Anybody? Get a shot of that. Get a shot of that. <laughs> Stop look, so lifting it up. Oh, you're you're right. turning the heat off. I should just turn the handles that way and there only you go. use this. Uh, beans, yes. And corn. Uh, you're and like we, questioning. We like did, you're thinking did we do that already? We did. You're actually like picturing your wife right now cooking. And you're like, okay, what order does she do this in? I would say corn and beans. And then last will be the tomatoes. You know, they cook Good. so bad. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. Really, that's too much? No, no. That's Corn is a lot of sugar. So, I mean, you actually probably, healthy-wise, you want less of that, right? Yeah, I probably, probably would have done a little less, but it More? looks beautiful. No, no, that's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> More? No, 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 no. <laughs> We're very precise here with our... There you go. I can set this aside. Now, we'll you make... can get a shot of that. That looks that's beautiful. Look and beautiful. that's going to be the filling, except for that we didn't add the tomatoes yet. What? I'd like to hear it sizzle. Okay. And then keep lifting it up. Lastly, the tomatoes. Good? Yes, it looks good. This looks good now. Looks good. And healthy. Good and healthy. Good Until and we healthy. deep fry it. That makes it a little less healthy. Are right? we deep frying it? Well, that's how they cook them. You've never had an egg roll? No, do they call that deep frying and we just do it on you're, top like that? I mean, you're still frying. I, I see where you're going with it. I this. thought they had to like submerge it. But you're going to cook like half. You're just not using a full pan of things. So you're, the way we're going to do it, which I think is amazing because it's nothing worse than when you're at home and you do decide to deep fry something. First of mm -hmm. all, it smells your house up. Mm -hmm. And, doesn't and you, oil you end up throwing away stuff. oil because you filled an entire jug of oil and you're like, what am I doing with this? Yes. This won't be like that. I'm glad to hear that. Because we're only going to put a little bit on the bottom and we're basically going to fry half of it, flip it over and fry the other half. Okay. So we don't waste so much oil. But it's essentially it's yeah, the, the term amount. deep fry just... It was a trigger so for you me don't as a like vegan. the idea of deep fry. But vegan has nothing to do with... Deep, we're not deep frying it in lard. I mean, we're That's deep true. frying it That's in oil. True. It's That's still a plant. True. What kind of plant are we using for the oil today? Wow, you had to call me out on that. Day. No, no, I, I'm sure. I really didn't know. It's I, a I, blend, I'm sure. It's a vegetable blend. Oh, okay. I know there's some olive in there and there's some, uh, you know. But it's a vegetable. That's the main thing, right? Like plants you said. Plants and stuff. What would you do if you found out that. It was just lard? No, no, if that vegetables like felt pain or something. Would that ruin this for you? Like, I'm trying to figure out why, why you're difficult. vegan 100% for health, or you're vegan because no, no, all you for health. Are, are not all for health. about cruelty to all, animals. No, all for health. I, I so you'd be okay with that? I have nothing against the animals, Ooh. but I'm not out here trying to say. I have them a all. great question. Sure. Vegan wise, because I'm not vegan, so I can't really answer it, obviously. But you can. Okay. So they're creating meat in vats right now, where it doesn't actually have anything to do with the animals themselves, where they're just growing the meat separately. What do you think about that? Are there no using, animals affected? It's literally just like the Are they using cells the together. cells from animals? They're not you I don't see I'm not that smart. But I, I it's a big question as to whether vegans will eat it because it's it's never going to be, it never was, has nothing to do with a live animal. It just is somehow they're Okay, this is a bad question because neither one of us have any idea what's going on. So if you, don't know, were, if you haven't heard of that. I heard of that impossible meat that a lot of people are, are investing in now, the, the impossible burger and things like that. Do you know what that is? Like, uh, proteins, right? Vegetable yeah, but do you know, what, you know what they did that makes it so, like, everybody thinks it's great? No, I don't. Beet juice. Oh. So you're, you squeeze this, this patty down that they've made, and it looks like it's bleeding, but it's just Got beet it. juice. And why, if you're vegan, you would want your fake burger to look like Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah, I, sure. I, I, I don't, it doesn't I don't like make the, any sense to me at all. Yeah, the fake stuff confuses me a little bit sometimes. It does. Like, do you want to eat meat or you don't want to eat yeah, meat? Yeah, I'm an all or nothing kind of guy. That's why I have all the ingredients in here today. See that segue? See what yeah, I did there? and not nothing. <laughs> so let's move this aside because we'll need this pan for frying. Yeah, I would have cooked a little cleaner if I thought ahead a little bit. Did you? If you thought ahead? <laughs> if I knew I was cooking this today, I'm, even though you knew a week ago, but that's fine. Whatever. There's <laughs> probably like two or three pans on hand. You know. Okay, so we're just going to set that aside oh, for wow. the moment. Get a shot of that. You, <laughs> you were able to clean out that. that, 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 that was, so, you're so impressed. That was impressive. I thought there was like half the food still in there. You're, you're the one with the PhD, but you're impressed with my ability. That was almost as good as you touching the, the stove with your hand. Uh, almost. <laughs> almost as good as that. Close second. Here, why don't we, for fun, let's mix up our mix. Here, two on okay. the side, right? So we have the Fabergé, 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 the Fabergé's, 
and a little bit of the chipotle powder, right? Okay. So we can make it a little bit spicy. That makes sense. Does that look like too much? And what's in that one? That's just black pepper. You keep pointing at oh, the black pepper. Oh, I don't even taste really it. The black I think pepper. it's like um, adobo feeling or something. It's, it's just giving me this. That doesn't remotely look like adobo at all. Have you ever had adobo? Out, yeah, it looks it, more it, like that. It's very red. It doesn't look like this? No, it doesn't. They have different kinds. That's true. They do have different kinds. Ah, <laughs> one for the amateurs out there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of them look like black pepper. But don't touch your stove at home, right? <laughs> Definitely don't touch don't this. Don't try this at Unless you have an induction burner. Somebody had me at the house like, wait a minute. <laughs> that was Dave. bad. <laughs> curse you, Dave. Hopefully they remember you and curse no. you. Aaron! <laughs> Involve me too. So that way we have our nice oh, dipping nice. sauce for later, right? That is good. That is nice. We can set that aside. All right. Wait, wait. First, uh, let's get a shot of that. Well, it's going to spill. Oh, let's <laughs> not, don't get a shot of me spilling. OK. OK, let's move these out. Can you slide, All right, this, sure. slide that out of the way so we have room get for this that. rolling up here? Because I can't wait to see you roll up since you're the interesting following thing your is, wife and how she does stuff. I want to know. I want to see how you do with this. To be, to be candid, we usually use. We haven't been so far? No, no, no not, yeah. not in terms of this rolling up comp component. We usually use uh, burrito shells. Big, uh, wide burrito shells. It literally shell. says egg rolls. I know. Like, you gave me no direction. I've got the no, meat No, no, here. we're going to make it happen. Here, like, it's for excitement. So it's going to be more exciting. So you've never actually had an egg roll one? You always have burritos? Well, I've had one from the restaurant. But in terms of what I've made, we use the wide burrito shells. And you deep fry them? You wouldn't even need a deep fry a burrito yeah, I wish I could show you a picture, too, because they, like, really pack them, and you only really need one. Like, for a meal, you'll have, like, one of those big ones and then some salad. But so today, you, so have you ever done this? Drum roll, please. When you say this, <laughs> no, I've never. Okay, rolled. so because now I'm really nervous. Well, that's that's exciting, right? No, it's not exciting. This is we're I tried to make egg rolls at home and they exploded. Now we're both amateurs. <laughs> and I was like, no way, he's got this. He's done it a million times. We don't have any problems. And but these now, are nice and thin and already powdered in a. That's just flour from all. You really have never. Have you ever seen an egg roll wrapper? No, no. We you use buy these at the store. We use right, right. Right. Really? No. Maybe we have been doing it wrong. So <laughs> maybe you helped me upgrade today. Okay. Should I be lucky later? No, I don't. I don't know. Like I'm seriously not sure. I'm yeah, gonna. I, I'm gonna water this edge here a little bit. I think. And I'm gonna do the same thing as though I knew that's what I was supposed to do. I'm gonna literally go all the way around it, just a little bit, because I feel like a little bit, of, not too much water, but a little bit. I think it'll need it to stick. And I'm gonna play it safe for the first one, just a little bit, you know. Not yeah, gonna... so let's, we'll put some filling in there. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to work now. You've got me. No, perfect. no, it'll work. I'm an optimist. Is that what? <laughs> now, will it work on the first time or the eighth time, which we might not have time for in the show? Might not. Okay. How are you rolling it? I'm going to, well, I remember watching my friends at Chipotle. But we said this is an egg roll. But they do, they do this with the but corners. this isn't. You get a shot of that? You get a <laughs> shot of that? They do this with the corners. Look at that. Yeah, but this is not. It's an egg roll. But then, at, wait, they don't have anything coming so out. So what if it's different with an egg roll? We'll find out. <laughs> Very short. I feel like you would go in what first on an egg roll and fold over. Oh, is what I think you would do. so why'd you let me go first, Dave? I'm not you the were chef. All, you were all set. Look at that. That looks exactly like an egg roll, doesn't it? Well, let's see. Let's, let's see if see, yours does. Um, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Uh, there you go. You're doing it, see, because you're doing like a burrito now. There you go. Now, get a shot of that. <laughs> Wait, you, need, you need your own camera. You need a camera just to take shots up there. Get a shot of that. You love that. Look? They, look, they look good. Let's For actually now, let's right? get the heat going on here and maybe, maybe um, do a couple more. Do a couple more while the okay. heat's going up. I guess we probably want about 350, right? Yeah. <laughs> about to say the same thing, Dave. Where you yeah, the words right out of your mouth. 50, that's where I was. Oh, wow. Oh, Dave! Dave! I mean, we need oil in there. How are you going to fry it if there's no oil? Is that a baptism? It is. It's, it's an oil baptism. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot of oil. We can keep making these, and then we can watch them not work in a minute. It'll be super fun. That's amazing. So, let's actually talk a little bit about you. I feel like we haven't got into your story enough. <laughs> Any kids? Two kids. Two kids. That's pretty exciting. I have a son and a daughter. How old are they? Nine and about to be seven. My daughter is actually a type 1 diabetic, which helps with the um, dietary and uh, vegan lifestyle and things like that as far as regulating the sugar with the insulin. Well, sugar's bad. Yeah, so uh, we're able to, you know, not make her feel bad because we don't eat too much of it ourselves. I mean, you're going to live forever, right? Hopefully not. I've yeah. seen some things, you know, in recent times that... 
you know? that you don't want to be around for? Not, not for everything. No, not <laughs> for everything. You know, everything has its season. Right? <laughs> Me right. included. So, uh, at Temple here, you've got, a, you've got another name, right? That people like to, so you didn't do what I did the last time this time either. Oh, well, well which is fine because yours might actually work and maybe mine don't. For the third one, I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I'm gonna style. try your style. Um, but yes, they called me the rapping professor at the greatest university on the planet Earth, Temple University. Did you? Is music pretty important to you? Is that? I used to work on radio here in Philadelphia for a number of years. And you no longer do. Well, actually, I work on talk radio now. Oh, so you talk in my in my older oh. in my boy, yeah. I graduated. <laughs> Like a podcast. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how old you are, but I'm assuming you're the perfect podcast age because my daughter makes fun of me because I love my podcasts so much. Yeah, podcasts are great. <laughs> I, I think it's important to have those options and a lot of different, you know, perspectives and conversations. So, what do you? What's on your talk radio? What do you talk about? Well, I, I work with a WRD. It's um independent uh, black media. It's, it's one of the only of its kind in the nation now. That's exciting. And they've been around for a, a long time. And Do you have specific it's, it's, topics or? 900 AM, 96.1 FM. Oh no, it's a radio, it's a radio station, so. Oh, the music. We, no, no, it's talk radio, but we do something called Show on the Go, where I go out into the community. There was the uh, Adunde African Arts and Culture Festival this weekend. Oh. And we had like a table set up. So and wait a minute, you, you, get, you get paid to go around and go to festivals? That sounds yes. amazing. I yeah, want I that actually job. do. Well, I want this job. I want to job. They probably wouldn't hire me there, huh? Right? <laughs> I make great food every day, and I get to wear a cool jacket. I, I do enjoy my cool jacket. I can't wait to see which ones work since we did all these in so oh, many wait, different see, ways. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try, try this way this time. Yeah, I'm going to try that way. You said try folding it. Fold on, long ways. Yeah, fold the long ways first. And, see and then leave it flat and fold it over, right? And then roll it. Yeah, I feel like this would work. But I, again, I can't wait to see these work or not work. Let me tuck it in there. <laughs> they, oh, that is kind of tight. I feel it. In a, in a good way? or? Yeah, and I see the... Um, the physics, the principles. The physics. Yeah. You're not a physics professor here, though, right? No, that's why I see <laughs> physics in egg rolls. <laughs> there really is, though. There's I'm sure. So there's much everything. There's so much science and everything, man. There's about to be a lot of science going on. I may have to back up. It might, yeah, it might splash you. So, I'm not going to lie. Are you going to try one? I suggest, one? yeah. You could use this. Oh, I'm trying to stay away that. from it. Look at that. What, what, are you, what are you doing? It. The oil wasn't really ready, it looks like, because you see it didn't really bubble. You're scared of it a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, you usually I do like a little thin thing But I'm just oil. saying you're a little scared of it, aren't you? No, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm not We're going to let that sit a little bit for a minute. Are they getting a shot of that? that <laughs> I, I didn't help that time. Usually no. I tilt it and everything. Well, because you don't want to spill the yeah, hot oil. Like, I just you're terrified of it. I, just I get it. Back. You should cook more often. This is on tape, Dave. My wife's going to see this. <laughs> you're about to change my life. I think you, you, you're doing an amazing job. And you my can, wife, you my can cook every night if you Even if the like, chef said you don't cook enough. Yeah, you should totally cook more often. Thanks, Dave. No problem, man. <laughs> I'm here for you. Oh, gosh. We're going to stick all these in here and see what happens. Because it looks like the yeah, one's finally good. doing something. They're not exploding. That's a no, plus. No, that looks good. And it looks like they're not unraveling. And they're not unraveling, so hopefully this works. Ready to take this show on I the road. I guess we'll find you. <laughs> North Philly egg rolls, Dave and Aaron. Or what other fillings do you want to put in there? You, I'm and our so jingle will be, never even put them in an egg roll. Our jingle will be da 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 da, because D and A, Dave and Aaron is Are you da. Using da 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 da. Wow. See that? See what I did there? I, that was clever. Very clever. What's the uh, wrap going to go over top of that? It's Dave and Aaron. We got the egg rolls. We got the spice and we got the soul. If you're feeling down or out of control, come to da 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 egg rolls. See how I did that? That was. I was going to. That's beat, what I get. I was going to beatbox, but then I just didn't feel it. It didn't hit me. <laughs> I couldn't. I didn't know where to. I didn't know where to go with it. If I would hit me, I'd be like, wow. I know. I feel like chef. I totally should have done that. We could. That could have been part of the tour. Oh, look at that. It's got some color going on oh, that's there. Nice. That's nice. That was one of the reasons I was uh, excited to have you on is because it seemed like music was important to you. No, definitely. And I think it really helps in the classroom just to keep the students engaged when you can relate to pop culture. Use did some you, things they already know to introduce Did you play instruments things. or do anything as a kid? or? Not at all. No. That's just, the irony. I'm just a big, big fan of, of music. Songwriting, if anything, was probably my, I can have my a little trouble with that passion. one. That one looked like it might. Well, who knows what's going to happen with that one. Anyways. Uh, yeah, everybody can't make it. <laughs> 
You're a big fan of music. Big fan. Big like fan. that's seriously, if I had not done this, I'd be a musician. Like that was, really? I started violin when I was four years old. Oh, wow. I just was, I've been into music my whole life. My brother's actually a bigger fan. We were on the show Beach Shazam with Jamie Foxx. Okay. And I tell people. I always feel like I do good on that show. He, and people tell me that all the time. And I thought the same thing. And <laughs> I, I got on there and I think I answered no questions. But my brother answered all the questions and helped us to Beach Shazam. And one of the things I realized was that there's a value to being moral support. Okay. It's my justification for taking half that money. <laughs> I was devoted of confidence. I said, you can do it, you know? I mean, somebody has to do that. It's the Karate Kid without Mr. Miyagi, right? That's well, he wouldn't have learned it. He'd the original I'm talking about, not, not Jaden Smith. Right? I didn't see the other one. Well, yeah, of course Was there not. a Mr. Miyagi yeah, yeah. in the other one? Yeah, it wasn't. That's why it wasn't even really a Karate Kid. Oh, yeah, so, I'm not even know? sure what you're What's talking about What's the Karate Kid without Mr. Miyagi? Is movie? Hey, I mean, Will Smith's son, you know, he's, you know, he's the rapping kid that did karate. But Ralph Macchio, salute, without that vote of confidence. Because he waxed on and waxed off. You know right? What I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> oil on, oil off. So this is uh So anyways, music. Big on music. I don't even know where to go. You keep making me your sidetrack. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Big on music, um, just using hip hop as a teaching tool. Okay. Because a lot of my students, even if they have English as a second language, they still speak this language of music and pop Everybody culture. Everybody speaks pop culture and yeah. music. So that's and that, that's really, it's really powerful. Yeah. So, and it makes know. the students feel really really comfortable. Because sometimes students will come in with a little bit of anxiety about their ability to speak oh, the language I, or where they come from. But to let people know that we can meet on some common ground and then have these discussions, it, it works. That's awesome. No, I mean, I, I can tell you that it seems like, I don't know if these are done or not. I'm going to pull this out, though. It seems like uh, college is very stressful. Yeah. Like, I, I, I thought that it wasn't that stressful when I went, but maybe it was. I don't remember. But, like, watching my daughter, I, like, I feel like it's... It's very stressful college, mm -hmm. and there is a lot of anxiety. So to have a professor that can help you relate a little bit better, I think it's, pro it's pretty awesome. I totally wish I had a professor like you. I'm glad we're getting this on tape. Yeah, did you get a shot of that? When I go for tenure, we're gonna, I'm going to use that clip, Dave. Which one? The, the stuff about, no, about stuff about me being a great professor. You're I mean, an amazing I'm professor. I'm Seriously, I've, I've, I've used that. Every person I've talked to about you has only good things to say about oh, that's a good having thing. you in a class. and. I'm surprised you're not tenure already. Yay! Don't don't. I don't know. I don't know how much you're getting paid for this day, but I'm <laughs> suggesting a raise. What? Uh, <laughs> not enough. <laughs> what do you teach again? Uh, I teach Tupac and the Hip Hop Revolution. I teach the Obama presidency. I teach a course on colorism. I teach sports and leisure. I've taught the Black Church introduction to Black music. I. I teach uh, black social political thought, and I'm teaching a class this year on black wealth, uh, speaking about Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a book called Black Fortune about some early black millionaires even during the time of um, enslavement. So, Wow. Interesting topics. Sounds like you know a lot about that stuff, which I know nothing about. Sounds like I sit in my <laughs> office for the majority of my life, which I do. That's why I tell people who are really um, skeptical about getting a PhD, I say it only says that I was willing to commit to more semester hours. It doesn't mean that you're brilliant or that you're different. It just means that you're more dedicated. But doesn't that make you different, the person that's dedicated your de to your, that? Yeah, your dedication is the, is the delineation. But it's not right. some ingrained ta innate talent all the time. People think that they need to be born with some type of you know, unbelievable intellectual capability. And I'm saying, no, you just have to be the type of person that doesn't give up on your goals and your dreams. Because yes. I wasn't a great student. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't an Yeah, awesome but we, we stuck to it and we you know, achieved as a result. Greatness. I don't know if, if anyone would call when I do greatness, but I enjoy it's it. It's looking great to me. Get a shot of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss saying that when the show is over. I might just We're be going to have, have you back every week. No, I'm going to be in my class one day. And get, say, get, get a shot, shot of this. So, like, nobody's recording. Nobody's recording. Nobody can, people did record sometimes. I saw some YouTube videos of people recording you. Yeah, my students are my best promotion. Yeah. The reason why I get half of these uh, speaking engagements is because people say, you're all on my timeline. You're on my story. And I'm like, what's a story? And then, <laughs> you're lying. You totally know what a story is. No, no, I learned all this stuff later. I act like I'm cool in the moment, but when I go back you're to my cool. office, I Google this stuff. <laughs> I Google these abbreviations and I learn what people are saying to me when they think I know the language. Then I come back and I say, you you're know. You're going to be perfect though with your kids when they're growing up. They're going to think you're the coolest dad on the planet. No. Why wouldn't they think that? It's something about being a parent, Dave. I am a parent. What no, I'm saying, but it's something about your kids when they Dude, see you. They I'm pretty sure my daughter thinks I'm the coolest, guy, coolest dad on the planet. I'm pretty sure she does. 
I think the jury might be out on that one, Dave, to be totally honest with you. I, just, I, just can't, I can't see my children, because I, I, I discipline them. Of course you discipline but them. I'm saying that, that, that doesn't but take that takes away your coolness. Uh, How does it take away your coolness? I think, it, I think my dad... It says my, that you care. My dad was the coolest person in the world until I reached puberty. Then girls became cooler, and a lot of other people became cooler. But I remember a time, like right now, I think I am the coolest. So I got about another year or two before they discovered that there's a whole other world of seven billion people out there, and I'm and the one that's not. That cool. I'm, the, I'm the one who's not going to be giving them the keys to the car and things like that, and I'm going to be well, a lot I'm less like, cool. Look, for sure, there's times when I'm not the coolest. There are it, things that I say or do that set her off, and I'm totally the opposite. You might be the worst person in the world. Sometimes. I might very well be the worst person in the world. But eventually, you will be. But I, the I don't coolest. think that takes away from you being the coolest dad. It depends on what phase you're talking about. When, you, when, I'm, when I was a teenager, I didn't see that. I see that now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some of my, my some daughter's wisdom. 19. I'm gonna give you some of my uh, parenting wisdom. Please do. Uh, so I thought just like you. I seriously thought that I, I only have a window and at some point uh, like uh, that window's gonna pass. Mm -hmm. And I'm very lucky, very blessed that that window has not passed. Oh, I, you, what's the I secret? I still have a great relationship with my daughter. I still have, I don't know. Well, no, I'm going to give you advice. I'm going to give you some advice. I say, what's your secret, Dave? Tell me the secret. I, I think like, I'm just lucky, man. I'm just lucky. I'm just lucky. <laughs> I think the secret is though that that's part, that's it, right? If you're if you you're believe who you are and believe that it could last. But I'm saying no, because I didn't believe it, oh. and then it did. So I mean, it's not. I think it's just if you <laughs> if you are who you are, like your coolness will come out. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't, it's when you're pretending to be something you're not that you realize how uncool you are. Be yourself. If you try to be try to an be cool. overbearing parent or you try to be like, oh, you can go do whatever you want or I'm the cool parent, like that never works. It, I know what does work. Get a shot of that. <laughs> no, they look like. They, it's in a row. They actually look ready to eat. Can we? They, they're, oh, so you're hungry now. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. All you the smell of those ingredients. All right, let's, let's cut one of these up because I don't. I mean, you can have a whole one if you want, but this way we can actually see how beautiful that looks inside. Woo! I want to cut one just so I can show them part of the experience. <laughs> Did you want to get a shot of that? Do you want to show them that too? So they can get a shot of here, to side by side, a shot of that? Get a shot of that. Get a shot of that. That should be the T-shirt. That should be the T-shirt. That, that, be the that would be a good I'm always enterprising. I'm like, I'm, I'm the P. Diddy of the So of what is our T-shirt going to look like then? It's going to have um, <laughs> the, the jacket, right? And instead of the Why name, would it be a jacket? Because everybody uh, equates that with thing? chef. Even they can't read, you know, before you learn to read, even the little, the little babies will be like, you know, they'll know. Get chef. a shot of that. Yeah, so, and they'll say, get a shot of that, you know, across, right? That'd be cool. I'm not, I don't know. Or maybe on the back. So you have your name, you have temple, then on the back, get a shot of that. Wait, I don't know about that. Did, did you? I did you get a shot of that? Yeah, I, I don't know. You're getting old, right? I thought I was, I thought I was objectifying myself a little bit. A little bit, bit you were, yeah. Moment. I don't want to seem sexist or. It's hard. Like, Get a shot of that. I'm turning. Yeah, that does. I don't want my daughter. Not a piece that of meat. Anymore. I don't even eat meat. You know what? We're not doing. We're, we're not, not doing, doing that, that jacket. <laughs> we're not doing, that should be a T-shirt. We're, <laughs> we're not doing that. We're not doing that. It's not more. Not gonna happen. We're not doing that. Can we dip this? Maybe. Let's. Maybe we could use the knife. Maybe we could actually just put a little sauce on top. Yeah, because some people object to double dippers. Oh, I'm definitely. I don't like double dipping. I don't like anyone double dipping. Get a shot of that. Now, if I if I if I didn't do a good job, should I still smile as though it's delicious? No, if you don't like it, then tell us you don't like it. I'll, okay. I'll lie if you want the, to. The but theme of the day is be true to yourself, be right? Be true to yourself. Be true right. to yourself. If it's delicious, it's delicious. Get now, a shot I do have to warn you. I do have to warn you. Uh-oh. Now I am you. terrified of tofu. Oh, no, I'm not scared of tofu. No, no, no. I'm telling you, because I have a whole thing. My mom was, was like a big hippie, and she went through this whole phase where she tried to make us eat tofu and like all sorts of stuff. Now, was it the so soft, mushy tofu? I have no idea. I was this, like a this, young kid. This was firm, and I was really, I was. You're happy about the firmness. About the air. Yeah, but I just, I was afraid. You really want to? Eat? I keep stalling you. Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. We should sell these. We Take this show on the road. Get a food truck. You should invite me to do a, a segment in one of your classes now. Yeah, it's best mm -hmm. if you bring in food. I'm sure I could fit food into any of those topics you just said. Obama administration or... Yeah, they eat. <laughs> right? Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Everybody eats. Now that's another t-shirt. Everybody eats. Get a shot of that. And if you think we're going to stop, we're not doing that. No, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it's been an absolute <laughs> pleasure.
<laughs> you might be one of my favorite guests. Thank you for coming on. And this That's is what I go for every time, you know. Well, you've succeeded. Thanks for stopping by. This is amazing. Well, thank you, Dave. Thank you for joining us here on Baker Day Presents. And a special thanks to Dr. Aaron Smith, the did you get a shout of that professor here at Temple University, and his amazing vegan Southwestern egg rolls. Join us again next time on Baker Day Presents. And remember, every recipe has a story.